There's an abandoned storage unit that I see something very interesting in, but it happens to be about two hours away. Check this out. This unit right here doesn't look like a whole lot, right? But this box right there, to me, they look like the little graded coins. And if those are silver or gold coins, that could be 10K that somebody's missing right there. That's what the entire unit looks like. So the question is, is it worth spending the money and gambling and driving two hours for a chance of coins, a very small chance? Hmm. I'll think about it. Okay, I want it. It sold for $110. That's so cheap. You got what that means. I really have to discuss this with my business partners. Now let me talk to my boss first. Boss, was it a good idea to buy that unit? Are you ready to go on a road trip? All the way, thank you, thank you. Are you ready to go on a road trip and go buy the storage unit and go see what we got? It's about two hours away through the mountains. You ready? He said, yeah, I got approval. I made a good choice. Hey, you wanna go clean out a storage unit today? Hey. Yeah, by the way, it's two hours away. Let's go. What? minutes into the drive and the boss has passed it. We have three goals for this road trip. Number one, find a random mom and pop place that has good food. Number two, find a mountain view to get a family picture at. It'll be Broly's first mountain picture. And number three, at least double the money we spent on this storage unit. Let's go. We made it to the small town of Stewart's Draft, Virginia. Before we go to this facility and start cleaning out a unit, I need to go to the bathroom and I want something good to eat. So we gotta find a random mom and pop place to make those things happen. I found the perfect place, the cheese shop. Anything to do with cheese, I'm on board with, so <laughs> right, let's go. Boss stayed asleep the whole trip. Just now waking up. You ready to go get some food? He's not even up yet. He'll be up in a second. So they have like a deli in there. We got a whole bunch of fresh uh, meat and cheese just to make some sandwiches. While I was in there, one of the locals was giving me the rundown. Apparently this place right in here has like the farm where all the meat and cheeses are raised is like right next door and you can see the farms right over there so all the stuff supposedly super good super fresh that's why the sign says one of the locals favorite you ready for a picnic you ready him all buckled up and ready i call it the oinky special ham pepperoni and mozzarella i pigs are just great pigs are great creatures i bet it's gonna be so good mm. you can just definitely taste like that farm fresh versus store-bought it's so different mm-hmm the sandwich is really good I have turkey, ham, mayonnaise, and like a hot pepper cheese. They have like no normal brand of soda in there, so I got this weird thing called a drink cheer wine zero sugar. I hope it tastes like a Coke, I'm hoping, and two, I bought it without realizing who carries a bottle opener in 2024, so I don't know how I'm gonna get into this. That place definitely checked goal number one off of our list. Now let's head to the storage facility and take a look at what we bought. Well, we got the top off. Pretty good, it tastes like an off-brand um, cherry Coke, so <laughs> what I expected. The boss has made it, but he's more distracted up with his toys right here than going through the actual unit. You're supposed to be the boss, you have to instruct us. We don't know what to do. Sir, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Let's see what we got for 110. There she is, there she is. Looks interesting, looks interesting. There's our display case. I don't think it's what I thought it was, but we'll see. There's another bag over there. Uh, I don't know, there's only a hundred bucks in here. It's not gonna take much to make that back. Let's see what we can find. Let's just start going through the bags on the side first. Like this giant glass jar with electronic pieces in there and a Wii controller. Um, This is why we buy units, right here. That's why we do it. That's what it's all about. And then we have now this whole bag is actually just full of random electronic parts. Like these phones, ooh. There's a bag of phones in there and then a bunch of electronics. Look at this. <laughs> nice. Uh, four phones, I mean, some of them are cracked, but a bunch of phones and in here. It's just all other hard drives and looks like computer pieces. Next bag right here, let's see what we have in this. Hey, look at that. Xbox 360 controller, Xbox One controller. Um, What is that? Another Xbox One controller, it's not, it doesn't have a back piece to it. And then inside here, looks like um, Switch pieces, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Is that, oh, that's a game. I thought that was a GameCube. That's a GameCube game. game right there. Come on, Lord of the Rings, be in there. Oh. Hey. Oh, that's not expecting to find video games out here, but okay. Uh, what is all this? These are all like video game wires. That's what it looks like. And then there's another, look, another Xbox controller, uh, Super Nintendo controller it's knockoff ram but still super nintendo i'm liking this well another freaking two controllers hmm. this whole thing and another one right here 
This is all it's an original Xbox controller. A I mean, bag. <laughs> that bag right there probably could very easily pay for our entire unit. We have Craftsman saw, a little rusty there, but still worth a little something. That's a heater. This yeah. is a, a gun. Ah. No, it's just a flashlight. A flashlight gun. A flashlight gun. Still a gun. And in this bag here we have, what do we have? That's a good question. Um, a dime. That's like a bullet. It looks like a random box we would put together. <laughs> I know, this looks like a literally like a random box. Little Game Boy 10 with nothing in it. I definitely have to go through there. Yeah, that's interesting. Huh. Huh. A lot of ammo in there. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> jewelry, jewelry box. box. Jewelry box. Jewelry box. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, what is it? No. Genuine stone. 120, 12 karat gold is what's supposed to be in there, though. I wonder if that's any of this can be it. Could be. Could be it, for sure. Let's set it aside. And this right here, just a beanie baby stuffed animal thing and a light bulb. This is a very, um, I don't even know what to call it. What is that? So Collectible figures? Raisins. I saw Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. Some little figures. There's some Scooby-Doo ones <laughs> right here. This is very randomly stored. Uh, then we got aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. And like, what's this? Some type of saddle soap? Okay. We are out in the farmland, so that makes sense, but... Yeah, the storage so far is not making a whole lot of sense. This is a very strange but interesting unit so far. Not what I was expecting at all. What is this right here? Oh, uh, well, these are a bunch of tools, huh? Yeah. Let's see, a measuring tape, some drill bits, uh, pliers, things like that, some socket wrench heads. That's just gonna be a toolbox and a toothbrush for whatever reason. <laughs> that, this one, let's see what's inside here. It's crafting stuff. Looks like a bunch of sewing, string, or yarn. Why don't I say string? Uh, there's a little thing of thread right here. What is this right there? Ugh, come here. And uh, there you go. <laughs> Complete guide to sew. There we go. There we go. Makes sense. What about this? Okay, I thought this was going to be all closed, but it's obviously not. Ooh, this is going to have to wreck. Oh my gosh. What is up with this bag? Ugh. One? There you go, those Aldi bags. Yep, Aldi bags rip easy. Let's get some of these clothes out of the way. What is that? Whoa. Whoa. I'm already excited. I'm already excited. What is that? Oh, oh it's, it's a poker. Sheets. A sheets poker set? There's a sheets right across huh. the fence over here. Brand new. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This right here, some pencils and markers. This is a harmonica box. Um, Genuine harmonica. Oh. There's like four of them in there. One of those could be worth some money for sure. Yeah, definitely. Put that aside. Look at this. This is a big jewelry box. Oh. Whoa. Oh, snap. Here it is. Here it is. What is... Oh. Gold? Silver? Hold on. Are these silver? Oh my gosh. Please be silver. Please be silver. Silver. Yep. These are silver. Oh my god. Silver. Silver. Oh, this one's plated. That one's <clears> silver. <throat> this one's silver. What are the gold ones? They just say... Korea on it. But there's a couple, there's a mix, it's not like a set. It's one sterling silver, one, two sterling silver, one silver plated, then there's a couple gold ones. But I mean, we're 110 bucks in this unit. I'm happy already. That's crazy. That's got nothing in it. This another box, box. This? Yeah. What is that? What? Oh, dead flowers. This might be from like a funeral or something. Yeah, I'm not probably. sure. Uh, there's that. Wow. That's not what I was expecting. I got the court case files right here. <gasps> Bang. Cold case. Uh, this is. I mean, this is a college, actually. Huh. No, okay. Not, not what I was hoping. <laughs> I'm expecting a cold cake. Oh my gosh! I keep wanting to grab these books that are bags. I think they look like clothes, but they're heavy. This has got some really old-looking books in it. And, aw, nothing in that jewelry box. But like this, that's a Bible. A really old-looking Bible too. I always flip through because people always tell me, oh, people used to hide money in Bibles. I've been buying storage units for six years now. I've probably found a thousand Bibles. I've never found one dollar inside of a Bible. So I don't know if that, there's any truth to that rumor or if people are just pulling my leg, but I've kept checking for six years. I haven't found it yet. Let's see. This whole thing, Bibles. Yeah, there's another couple books in here, like a giant makeup brush. Probably two, three more different Bibles in here. Let's go to this one right here, see what's in here. Now we've built us a little table here. This says cotton candy on it. Um, I don't want to know what was in there originally, but <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. It's not my business. Then we got whatever, is that a speaker? Yeah, it looks like a speaker. And then a hat. What else is down in here? Oh, some more stuff like this. Oh, 
I thought they These said, bags are so random. They really are, man. This is like a some type of gauge in there. I thought it was gonna be like a watch box or something. You just don't know what you're gonna get. This is like one of the most random storage units. Treasure craft made in USA. It's like this um, big pot right here. They got a bunch of tea in it. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it's just hats and another teapot with a bunch of like the K-cups in there. Broly said he needs a break first. He wanted a bottle. He said his little food at the place wasn't quite enough. It's break time, get a bottle in, then you guys are allowed to keep filming. While Broly's eating a bottle, I'm gonna keep going through stuff a little bit. Let's move the tarp out of the way and see if we can get into this. It looks like a lot of wrapped up stuff. Is it all glass or is it bottles or what? It feels like it might actually be like glass soda bottles. I'm not sure. If that's the case, they could very easily be collectible ones. Whoa. Look at the condition on that. I feel like this was dug up or something. That is like a really old, like dirty bottle. I feel like that was definitely something that was dug up. Let's keep digging in here. Like look at this Coke can. Whoa. When were these a thing? Does anyone remember seeing these as a child? I've never seen a can like that. But I'm only 30, so I don't know. I feel like these might be some um, maybe metal detecting type finds. What about this guy? And then we're going back to a plate, huh, with a golden eagle on it. Art of choking. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see what else is buried in this. It's so random. Tell me this isn't one of the most randomly stored storage units we've bought in a long time. It's very random. Anything else buried in here? There's one big one right here. Let's see what that is. If that's just glass, I'm assuming it's all glass. Let's see. That is a vase, it looks like. Could be from the Ming Dynasty. No, just a nice decorative vase. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably assume this whole bag here is just gonna be glass. When I find something cool, I'll show you. Back to the main camera, Mr. Bear is done. So <laughs> let's go into here. Back to two hands. I didn't realize how hard that was with one hand until I just tried it. Um, this and this. The storage of this unit, I'm telling you. Very random. Okay, but look at these statues in here. These look cool. That is like, that's a wooden cat. That is a completely carved out of wood cat. Huh. Interesting. And then we got like the Native American. This one's um, porcelain, but I don't see a brand on them anyway. But still a nice looking piece. And other than that, there's a can opener and a plate. Another bag in the corner. Oh, there goes a bottle. This bag, let's see, J.R. Tolkien. All I think about when I see J.R. Tolkien is South Park because I'm a huge South Park fan in the whole joke name with Tolkien which was hysterical by the way. <laughs> that one, this is all full of books actually, that entire bag is. This oh, one, okay. so, so. that was the manager. The facility that just came up on <laughs> and that's why I love these peaceful country towns. She was like, I'm actually leaving the office now, the office is closing, but I trust you guys, here's the deposit back. I was already talking about how many I'm going to get the $100 <laughs> right. back. I didn't want to drive four hours to get the 100 bucks back, but they just trusted us. I like that. You don't get that in the city areas. You don't. <laughs> no. Not that small country town. Let's see. What's in here? Uh, that's a bunch of painting supplies. This is, um, I don't know what that is. Mm, it says handy palette. Okay. And then if we go in here. Oh, Samurai Jack. That's pretty cool. Funko huh. Pop in there. And then a bunch of, what's it called? Painting supplies is all throughout here. Random, I don't know where the Samurai Jack fits in, but everything other than that and this is just painting supplies. Let's go over here. That's just a blanket in a bag. Is that a camera? Looks like it might be, no, that's like a first aid bandage and yeah, stuff like that. Make sure there's no camera in the front. Oh, more mm -hmm. phones. Why does somebody have that many phones? It's gotta be like what, seven or eight we found in this unit so far? Yeah. That's pretty suspect. Pill bottle doesn't help. These are all closed right here. So that aside, this all closed, all closed. What is this? Uh, cotton balls and emergency poncho. Okay. Okay. Hey, look, a gold coin nice. that's made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> and now that is all closed. This tote underneath of it. Ooh, that one looks more random. I thought it was gonna be more closed, but let's put it on top of here and check it out. That's a license plate thing. The license plate. Uh, more random metal pieces. Uh, random, I feel like I've said random 800 times in this unit, but I don't know what else to say. This is stored so randomly. What else am I supposed to say besides the word random? You know what I mean? There's yeah. a forward emblem. Uh, let's see, DMV stuff, papers, papers, and just a whole lot of papers. 
If you haven't left this very random store due to the thumbs up and subscribe yet, make sure you do that for us because we really appreciate it. According to the stats on this channel, over 60% of you guys that watch the videos aren't even subscribed. So please do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and help us get closer to 800,000 subscribers. Let's go through here, that thingy, and I swear that looks, so that, that is Hitler, isn't it? I don't know what that is. That's definitely Hitler. <laughs> okay, ooh, a couple knives actually. A couple nice knives and nice handles here. Yeah, they're older. It says Zach Germany on that guy. Then this guy says original Bowie knife. That could be worth some money for sure. <laughs> Put that back in here. That's a cool little find. What is, I'll go to that in a second. I guess let's go to this jewelry box. Is it a jewelry box? These are pictures. We'll give them back. This looks like one of those incense things, but this, hey, that's a Zelda NES cartridge. That's pretty cool. What is this? Uh, just a bottle with some hemacy, like a beehive and a magnet. Okay, that's about as random as it gets, but look at that. Zelda NES cartridge. It's like, oh, it's not a real cartridge. It's a display. Well, made into a clock. Yeah, maybe <laughs> it was a real cartridge and they took the game out of it and just made it into a clock. That's pretty random, but okay. Oh, whoa. Look at this thing right here. It's got a bunch of some type of Asian writing on it. I don't know what that means. If anyone knows, tell me in the comments. There's that. A little further in here. Let's see. Straps, randomness, randomness, and then we just have some pictures and some photo albums right here. We didn't actually open whatever this is, so let's see. Do I have to break it or is it just gonna? Okay, good. I was hoping it would just pop. Uh, well, there's a wedding photo right here. Pantyhose, um, some pictures. This whole thing is actually, well, that entire thing is just pictures. Howdy, partner. You know, I put that on, but I don't know if you have lice yet, so <laughs> I'm not going to do that yet. Look at uh, this. What is this? Uh, quick Fix Plus what? Novelty Synthetic, synthetic urine. urine. Okay. I wish I didn't read that. I, I would have been perfectly fine living the rest of my life without reading that. Nothing in here. Let's see what else is in the bag. I'm kind of scared to just go in there now. This bag is actually huge. Ooh, let's take it off here and take it apart and see if there's anything in there. That was just all blankets and a pillow. Nothing there. This guy, um, that looks random enough. Let's open it up and see. Well, little thing, that looks like all bathroom stuff, unfortunately. Let's get this blanket here out the way. This out the way. Ooh, what's in the basket? Um, very random. Oh, Pokemon cards in this one. This one has Pokemon cards mints and coins um what do i even say to that what do you even say to that this one's full of batteries this one's got uh a bead necklace and a beanie baby in it <laughs> this feels like a socket around yep yeah, that's exactly what that is i'm not going to open it because once you open that it never closes again there's that little dewalt set and then just a bunch of other little random tool pieces and other knickknacks in there. Got some boots right here. And then this here is really heavy, actually. Does that all change? Hold on. Rocks. A bag of rocks. Okay. Nice. Nice. Is this whole bag? <laughs> Why is it full of rocks? Uh, what is this? This is just Bob bobby pins. I feel like everything you come across, you're just like speechless. So yeah, you don't like know I'm what to say. I keep trying to make sense of it, but then everything I pull out next makes no sense again. Like this whole bag here, look. It's literally just got rocks. Not like, you know, oh cool, crystal. Like that's just something you find on the side of the road. This whole thing's just full of rocks. I don't know. I don't know. Blanket here. And then we got, oh, there's some shoes in here at least. What is this? Come here. Come here. Uh, what in the heck is that thing? Mail and rusty stuff? Okay. You're supposed to respond to me. Make sense of this. I have no idea. Like, my face is... You guys don't even want to see my face right now. <laughs> That's two pair of DCs and a pair of dress shoes. My face is speaking a lot of words, but yeah. I, I'm not. Okay, this basket here is literally just all clothes. This one here, let's go into that guy. Is it all clothes? Yeah, well, I could put my hand in there. and That one's all clothes. There's gotta be something else cool. At the beginning, I was like, this unit's really <laughs> random and cool. Now it's just getting to a point where I don't know what to do. They, you see this? They use the hairbrush to tie the bag. They use it as a handle. Um, <laughs> I get it out of here? No. No, that's not, that's not button. Wow. <laughs> Unless you didn't want it to. Then it would fall out instantly. Um, yes. Let's see, some books. What is that? Uh, wireless for dummies. We need like a little storage, my stuff for dummies. <gasps> Ooh, oh, yeah. I see a bunch of World of Warcraft. Oh my gosh. I, I gotta, gotta, I gotta get scissors or something. <coughs> Dust right down my throat. I lost my voice quick. 
<coughs> okay, step one, don't dive. Step two, find a knife and let's get this cut open. One 40 hour work week later, we got this open. Let's see if these World of Warcrafts are actually in there. Cause they there's Funko's too. Like, okay, hold on a second. Let's just get this out. I see Funko Pops in World of Warcraft games. So this could be a big thing right here. Ugh. We'll go through the rest of that in a second. But this here, there's a little toy drill. Ugh, get out. The original World of Warcraft here, open up. Oh, it feels like it's in there, but I mean, wait, how do I open it? Let's see, give me some discs. Here is the thing, there's actually the discs. Wow, the disc and the product key is in there with it. Huh, okay, over nine million online. I mean, World of Warcraft's a cool game at all, if, if you never heard of RuneScape, because old school RuneScape puts this crap to shame. But there's another World of Warcraft, another World of Warcraft, Look at this, two more World of Warcrafts, another World of Warcraft right here. And I wanna see what these Funko Pops are too. That looks like Aku from Samurai Jack, since we found Samurai Jack earlier. Oh, never mind. High it's Priestess. Not at all. High Priestess, I thought it was gonna be Aku. There's another World of Warcraft over here. And this one is the Guardian from Samurai Jack. And you see that right there? Another World of Warcraft in there. That's a jackpot little thing here. Let's go to this side now that all close put that aside this one oh no that might be the air mattress there's the air mattress actually the, i think hold on all the bag <laughs> an all the bag with clothes on top of an air mattress my bad a little more inclusive there this all clothes this oh that's definitely not okay this one we're gonna go through really quick what about your foot oh whoa uh I didn't even see this. Where'd this come from? That's a bayonet. A bayonet, yeah. My gosh, dust again. <coughs> you wanna know, yesterday, Broly was kinda sick and we were talking about, I don't know, the old thing is I never get sick and I'm like, I have the strongest immune system in the world. Why? This, right here, <laughs> never get sick. I may swallow a pound of dust, but it's okay. Let's put that in here. In here we have, what the heck is that? USA Today, the Beatles Special Edition. Okay, that could be worth a little something here. There's some pictures. What are these here? Come here. What is that? Just an artwork. What about, oh, that's a naked lady. And this one is, oh my gosh, Madonna. Woo! Madonna all over that paper. That's cool. And then we got glass protectors here. Then this, clothes. <laughs> and other than that, yeah, the rest of it is just all clothes, unfortunately. Let's see if there's anything else in here with this bayonet. I didn't check in a little sacky bag here. There's just a charger. All right, in the front, anything special? Let's see. Ugh. Oh, there's some, like, some change like in here. Let's see. Yeah, just a few pennies in there. So a little bit of money. And that's just a pencil in the front. This bag here, it's got something in it, but what, I don't know. Let's open it up and see. What is that? It's got this bag, which is full of, oh my gosh, nostalgic beauty. An old CD player Walkman. An iPhone in typical iPhone condition, and a bunch of random electronics like that first bag. This guy was a tinkerer. Hmm. One of those people that just like to, you know, play with things and put it put it together. There is my coins. Yes, there's my coins. It's actually a tea box. Tea box. <laughs> you know, if you would give me a hundred guesses of what I think it might be other than coins, tea box would never have been on that list. So no. at least I know now. At least I know. This little leather satchel here got a bunch of keys. We got. Ugh, Glove, keys, keys, and silverware. No silver though, let me make sure. No, this is just regular silverware. Not anything there. This bag, oh, it was all clothes. I thought it said this. What in the world is this? That's a busy board for a baby. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Broly got himself something out of this deal after all. We might keep that for him because he right. loves playing with stuff we'll like that. Wash it off a little bit? Yeah, of course, of course. And then in here, that's all clothes. This, um, let's see. Oh, I see anime figures. Hey. At least, well, oh, I st no, he's in there. Hey. Not Dragon Ball, but I don't know what anime he's from. But figures actually in there and everything, just a smush box. So those are like 25 bucks a piece. Uh, down in here, the rest of that just closed, unfortunately. Ooh. Then this here, um, oh, there's something down at the bottom. There's the fart sound effects when you need them. I know, right? Let's see. Oh, it's just a big canteen. It's about to rip out the bottom. A canteen and a glass jar here. Let's see what's in it. Oh, it's empty. Other than that, I think it's all just clothes. And then we have a tent. 
a kid's hat, and then a giant long cot right here. You know what? Not the best storage unit, but definitely interesting. For 110 bucks, I'm happy. Not the best unit ever, but definitely found some pretty cool things in there. Definitely more than doubled our money on the unit, so that definitely checks that off the checklist. And boom, another one completely empty, except for that. It's all the family pictures they asked us to leave behind, so we're gonna leave those behind so they can get that back. Since this storage unit was so random, we're also gonna do a deep dive on this where we go into every bag in much more detail on our second channel, The Jeebus Family. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. This video will be out in the next day or two. Mr. Bear, before we get back on the road, we need a real soda, right? Yeah. Because even the worst Pepsi is better than the best Coke. Pepsi is just far superior. Let's be real here. We found some really good food at a very random place. We found some pretty cool stuff in that storage unit. That means there's only one thing left on our checklist. We had to get that family picture at the mountains. Now this may just be a picture to most people, but what you guys don't realize is these Blue Ridge Mountains is where I used to come when I was a kid with my family, my dad who's no longer with me, my grandmother who's no longer with me. So these mountains really, really do mean something deep to me. And it seems like just yesterday I was the kid and now I'm bringing my own son to the mountains to take the same photos I took when I was a kid. If you take anything away from this video just be happy enjoy life do what you love and have a good time while you're here